In our last tutorial, we went over how to apply pre-made poses to our character. In this one, we're going to be posing manually. So first of all, let's select any bone on our character, either by just clicking on it, or you can click on it in the hierarchy of your character. So right now we have our left collar selected, and in our parameters tab, we can manipulate the twist, front and back, or the bend. So you can see I'm just manipulating these bones using the parameters tab. If you want to manipulate them within your viewport, select it, and with this tool right here, you can click and drag on this ball and it will move the bone around. By default, our universal tool is selected. But if we choose this tool, the Active Pose tool, we're going to get more options when posing our character. So you can grab any bone and click and drag it around the scene. But you can see, as we do this, it's affecting other parts of the body that we don't want it to affect. So let's click right here, and that's going to bring up our tool settings. We can move this out of the way, or we can dock it anywhere where there are other tabs. So let's first click on the chest here, and let's push this toggle pins. This is going to create a pin and make sure that as we're moving this around, it doesn't affect the chest. So let's toggle the pin on some of the other bones that we don't want to be affected. And now you can see that as we move it around, it's not affecting those bones. And I'm going to put a link in the description below of a tutorial that goes into the active pose tool a lot deeper. So you're going to want to check that one out. Let's switch back to our universal tool and let's click on the hand here. Let's go into the posing tab and let's click on pose controls. You're going to see all these options show up and just by moving these sliders up and down, you can create fists, you can bring up the chop, you can make the hands grasp, and you can even download more options to do with those hands. Let's go ahead and click on the face and we're going to zoom in. With head selected, let's go to pose controls. And then with these sliders, you can really start to get a lot of different detail in how your character looks. You'll even see some pre-made expressions that you can dial up on your character. And a new user is probably not going to have as many options as I do. But again, you can download many, many different options here. And on any of these, you can mix, match, and combine any of the poses and expressions.